Do you want to add video to iMovie and fix the problem with portrait video? Let's do it. Tap the iMovie icon to open it. When you do, you'll see all of the projects. Tap the plus sign to create a new project and tap create movie. You can choose a recent clip from this screen or tap on create movie and add your clip later. I like to do it this way because I can add footage from iCloud Drive. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Tap the plus sign and tap recently added. The video is broken up into these categories. You can choose from any one of them. Locate your clip and tap on it. As you can see, you have three options, a plus sign, a play button, and three dots. I'll get into these options later. Tap the plus sign to add the clip to the timeline. If you record a clip in portrait, you may notice that you can't see the whole iPhone screen. This is easy to fix. Once the clip is added, tap the clip in the timeline, tap on the little magnifying glass, and pinch the clip all the way down so you can see the entire iPhone screen. If you record footage or film video in landscape mode, this is not a problem. You can add it directly to iMovie. Earlier, I created a blank movie so I could add some footage from iCloud Drive. The main media screen you saw earlier in the video displays media that's stored on your phone. To add media from iCloud Drive, move the playhead to the position where you want to insert the media, then tap on the plus sign. Instead of choosing video, scroll all the way down and choose iCloud Drive. This will open the Files app. Search for and select the clip you want to add. I'm going to add a video intro. When you find the clip you want, just tap on it, and it will be added to the timeline at the position of the playhead, which should be the beginning of the video. It may take a moment to download to your phone. There's the clip I just added. When I recorded this footage, I forgot to turn off on-screen notifications, so you'll notice a few. Turn off screen notifications when you're recording, so you don't have to edit them out later. If you need to know how to do that, check out the YouTube card on screen now. When you're done editing, you don't need to save your edits. You'll only need to save the final video once you're completely finished. Just tap done in the upper left hand corner and then close the app. Your work will be saved until the next time you open iMovie. You'll also notice that the project you were last working on will appear at the top of the projects list. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have a problem with any part of this process, Leave a comment below so I can help you. Don't forget to click that thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.